So the question has to be asked, how do you move a 1.5 million pound nuclear reactor across Nevada highways? Well, the answer is very, very slowly and with a lot of help. I am Mark Anthony and I am the Vegas tourist. A 1.5 million pound, 16.5 foot diameter decommissioned nuclear reactor pressure vessel from Southern California Edison's San Onfray nuclear generating station is making its way across the southwest on its way to a nuclear waste storage facility in northern Utah. Yeah, say that fast. The reactor arrived in North Las Vegas last week via a specially designed rail carrier. As of this morning, it was sitting in the Apex industrial area north of Las Vegas. The final preparations for this supersized move began at just before sunrise. The reactor will mark the largest item to ever travel on Nevada roads as it began its final leg of its retirement journey heading for Utah. You're probably asking yourself just how large is this load and the move itself? Well, according to Tony Ilea, Nevada Department of Transportation spokesperson, the load being moved across the state is using six heavy-duty Class 8 trucks with four tractors pushing and two pulling using a series of interconnecting tow bars to create a 23-foot tall by 306-foot long train that will be the same length as the Statue of Liberty if you were to lay it on its side. Yep. There will be a combined 4,000 horsepower used to transport the configuration, which will weigh in at a mass of 2.4 million pounds. The load will be dispersed across 460 total tires, up to 18 inches in width, to prevent damage to state roads, bridges, or drainage facilities, according to Mr. Ilya. The total convoy will span up to two miles in length, including extra trucks, mechanics, and project managers. With the speed restrictions, it's anticipated that it will take seven days to travel the approximately 450 miles to reach its destination at Energy Solutions Nuclear Waste Facility in Clive, Utah. That's about 75 miles from Salt Lake City. This morning, they were moving at a speed way below the anticipated top speed of a whopping 10 miles per hour. You could walk faster than it was moving. That's it. It's gone. It's out of here. I'm Mark Anthony, The Vegas Tourist. As always, if you want more information, please visit me at thevegastourist.com.